You're watching Poland Daily Business and we will talk tonight about ratings, Poland ratings by uh, rating agencies. Our guest and commentator, commentator is Professor Zbigniew Krysiak of Warsaw School of Economics. Sir, welcome to the show. Thank you for inviting me. And uh, apparently Moody's uh, published uh, very good results for Poland. Uh, do you agree with their assessment? Uh, yeah, this uh, they you know uh, didn't change. You know the didn't they didn't decline. You know our rating, uh, which is in uh, I mean uh, environment of the crisis, environment of the pandemic. Uh, this indicates that the Poland Polish economy is doing well, uh, and that the Poland you know, uh, basically, uh, not, it's not under the danger to be, uh, I mean, uh, uh, with a big impact by the pandemic. And this, I mean, uh, this uh, rating, uh, stable rating for international investors uh, is going to attract them to Poland. We have, uh, I mean, uh, information since a few, I mean, uh, weeks that many investors are coming to during the big time to Poland. Right. Uh, From the Moody's, we... Very stable, I mean, in a situation... Yes, we read the statement. We that, um, Apparently, our the connection is not very good, but it will improve. I can, I can promise you that. Let us start from the uh, Moody's assessment. Uh, first of all, we hear about large and resilient economy that we have in Poland. Then, main fundamental cre credit challenges include a rel relatively sizable fiscal deficit, medium-term challenges weighing on potential growth, and the env elevated unpredictability with respect to economic policy. On the other hand, Modi expects the Polish economy to rebound by 4% in 2021. And that's uh, expected rebound is really something that changes the perspective. The 2020 is ending in three months. So, good uh, prospects. Oh, oh yes, I mean this. I mean a rating is not just only talking about what we have nowadays, but as well, you know, the future. And the future, uh, basically, the forecast for the, the GDP development in Poland was already very uh, announced by a different, uh, I mean, European institutions. And this speaks about that the Poland is going to, uh, I mean, uh, put, uh, go on the fastest track of the GDP development in next year. So, uh, therefore, this, I mean, a good rating we got and uh, the stable, uh, I mean, a forecast for, for, for the future is uh, consistent with the fundamentals. And this result is as well, uh, as well, you know, these steps and projects taken by our government during the pandemic. So during the pandemic, our, I mean, the labor forces, you know, stay at work. They stay at the factories and uh, they are basically, I mean, uh, coming, regaining, you know, the power. And as well, you know, we notice very, I mean, a low decline in the unemployment, uh, very good, I mean, a situation of the uh, fiscal position and as well, you know, the financial sector. This all together, you know, shows that Poland in next year is going to move ahead very fast and be probably ahead uh, many of the Western European countries assuming that we will have no bad surprises in 2020. Oh, yes. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Professor Zbigniew Krysiak, Warsaw School of Economics, sir. Thank you very much for this yeah. conversation. Thanks that was it for Poland Daily Business, and we will return tomorrow, same time. Please be here and see our show.